Hi there, Corey from SAS Pegasus here, and this is a two minute demo of the WebSocket integration that's now shipping with Pegasus. So I'm logged in here as myself, and I'm gonna to go to this group chat app, and then I'm gonna join the lobby. So now you'll see a simple chat UI, and I can type in a message here. All right, so far so good. But this isn't really that useful, unless I can also talk to other people. So let's show what that looks like. So first I'll just move this window to the side, and you can see here I've got another browser open. This is Chrome on the left, and I'm going to sign in as somebody else. Okay. So now that we're signed in as Lockwood, we can go to the same group chat at and join the lobby. We don't see old messages here, but let's see what happens when we type something new. So we can see the Lockwood's message immediately popped up on this chat window to the right. You can also see that there's different styling depending on who sent the message, and you can see the profile picture and display name of the person who's logged in. Now let's see what happens when we type a response. Finally, we can open up a third private browser and send a message as an anonymous user. So what's most interesting about this demo is that it's not using polling. It's using WebSockets, which is a technology that allows instant communication across browsers. It's a great technology for any use case where near real-time communication is important. And like everything else in Pegasus, it has well-documented code with best practices you can use in your own projects. So I hope that's helpful, and I'm excited to see what you build with it.